you could call your teacher bra and they'd be okay with it. it if you did that in Africa, hey, no. I started school in Canada in September 2014. 2020. October 2022. January 2023. And I was a newcomer. I was a newcomer. I was a newcomer. And I'm a newcomer. One thing that I found pretty different when I came and started school in Canada was the uniforms. I'm from Belize. I feel like the clothes you wear in school impacts the way you think in school. I'm really into fashion. Like I was in Dubai for like basically my whole life. You don't have the freedom to wear what you want back home because of like the dress code and stuff. But here, to a certain point, you can wear whatever you want. You can express yourself through clothing, through what you wear. I feel like that's a really good thing. So starting school over here, only immigrant in the class. And at that time, I was a bit, having a bit trouble during like listening and talking to English because in India, there was accent like it was different. And my, sometimes the teacher asked me, was it clear as mud? I was like, what? Clear, like, mud was not clear, I didn't get it. Slangs, English slangs. There were words like uh, loose leaf. When you need a blank page, you ask for a loose leaf here. There is another word, goat, greatest of all time. I was not knowing that. One time during lunch, my friends asked me, uh, so you got any tea to spill? And uh, I thought they were literally asking about tea. So I told them, I don't drink tea. And they said, what do you mean? By tea, we mean gossiping, not the literal tea. Some of my friends were like saying, did you get that? Gotcha, yeah, you want to drink pop? And I was new at the time, so I didn't know that pop means like a can of soda. I'm from Ghana, West Africa. How you talk to teachers here is like very relaxed and chill and like immigrant um, families are very big on respect. You're so used to like miss, ma'am. I was in grade seven when the first lockdown and the fire drills happened. And when it did, I was really confused about it because suddenly everyone like started panicking and they were uh, pushing the desks and chair, everything against the door. And then my teacher told me to go sit in the corner while the lights were off. I was just trying to text my parents that, hey, bye, I'm, I'm gone. I was not knowing that there is, there are two different schools like high school and elementary school. So back in India where I come from, there is a one straight school from kindergarten to grade 12. I think one of the biggest misconceptions is that education in uh, countries like Canada, US is really easy. Like we, ju we just play around and we don't do any serious stuff, but I think that's wrong. Back in India, it was like more theoretical and more stressful and like that. But here it is less stressful and more application based, which is very useful in real life. The culture here isn't very welcoming as much as they try, no matter what they say or how many like assemblies they have on it. It doesn't change the mindsets of like the kids at the schools. So I just want there to be at least a few of us in the school that understands, you know, what these like newcomers are going through. In my school, everybody was being super kind. Like they tried to help me with like my homework and like tried to make friends with me. The people, they were very welcoming. Made me want to like be that type of person for somebody else. Like I just want these kids to feel included the way I wish I felt inc like included in my schools, even though I came at a, such a young age mm -hmm. that like, you would think people would be more like accepting of you. They really weren't. If you're new to Canada, I just want to say like, it's not a scary thing. You'll get used to it. You'll adjust to the people, the culture, the classes and everything. I was also a new student in Canada. So don't worry. I don't know what my future is going to look like, but I think it would be a very great opportunity for me to do something for Canada.